wasn't gonna be enough yo peace to each one of y'all sending my prayers up to the creator uh, to our ancestors for healing we all need it about now you know they they call this the lord's day in uh, certain religions certain parts of our society so i'm, I'm gonna pay my my respect and my homage but um shoot what do i have to tell y'all y'all making me forget <laughs> nah i'm joking i'm joking you know i'm just trolling y'all but <sighs> shoot i gotta share something with y'all there ain't no bad news or anything like that it's just a reality all right and i'm gonna ask y'all from my soul to yours please do not get distracted out here please do not fall victim to what the system is putting out there it's a lot of misinformation it's a lot of trauma going around it's a whole lot happening in our world and the system wants you to be depressed wants you to be um, in a state of being that is low vibrational all right it's um it's a change and it's a shift in what's going on in our world right now. And, and I'm letting you know, I'm not being arrogant or anything like that, but from 1981 to 1996, this millennial generation, I hope y'all know, we're here to shake some shit up. <laughs> we're here to shake some stuff up. But in order to shake some stuff up, right? And the next generation, Gen Z, is going to come right after us. So they're watching us, right? Then you got my kids' generation, which is very young. But I got on here to say this. Please do not get distracted out here um, emotionally, uh, spiritually, because the system itself is, um, you know, it, it's, it's dying. It's dying. Old ways of living, the old ways of doing things, it's not, it's not going to last for too much longer, y'all. I'm just saying. And I don't know anything, right? I don't know all the answers to what's going on, but I'm I'm saying this to y'all specifically because it's important that those that understand that are aligned and what's going on around here, that y'all paying attention because without us making a change right now and and shifting our consciousness, our kids are they're they're gonna fall victim to this system too. And the system I'm talking about is it's a myriad of objective topics that we follow since we were kids, which is sex, love, relationships, religion, culture, class, finance, entertainment, media, you know, social platforms at this point. Please do not fall victim to these things that are being manipulated and controlled. Please do not. Please do not. We have so many truth tellers out here that are doing the right things, um, you know, and I could point them out, but you have to have your own level of discernment once you're uh, consciously awakened to what's really going on. And I could go on and on, but look, I have to speak in general topics because it gets too mixy. You know what I'm saying? But I hopped on here specifically to share something with y'all. My generation, the millennial generation, we got to be better. We got to be better. My millennial generation, we got to be better. We know too much of the truth. And sometimes that will put us in places where we're fearful or we have anxiety. And in order to make an impact out here that is generationally sound, where it lasts for not just one generation, but for seven to 10 to 20 generations now, we have to break free mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy to do it, but we have people out here that are willing to extend a helping hand and, and do it. You know, and I went live on this main page because I know that, you know, some people are, are going to take this as, oh, man, this guy's what is he talking about now? This guy thinks he's and it's like it's not even about that. I don't even have energy to, to give that to or to give to that today, you know, or any point in my life. Um, but I will tell you this. We got to be better. We have to protect our youth. We have to protect our ways of life. We have to protect the kids that are looking up to us. So my millennial generation, this is a call out to you. No, real talk. This is a shout out to you. As Gen Z's watching and our older generation is waiting for us to take control of the wheel and lead 
our world into new places, new ways of thinking, because it's not happening, um, you know, without the proper techniques and strategies. Um, it's not happening if we're not prepared. So, you know, and, and, and I say my generation because the millennial generation is because we, we help create a lot of these social platforms. We help create a lot of these trends. We help create a lot of these, uh, you know, new waves of doing things. Like, I'm not taking, I'm not saying that arrogantly, but from 1981 to 1996, this is specifically for y'all. Please, 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 please educate the youth the right way. Please, please. We are star seeds, just like Gen Z is, just like our elders, where we are star seeds. We returned here for a bigger purpose that many people won't understand. And a lot of this Instagram live will go over people's heads, but that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody's gonna get the fight. Not everybody's gonna get into the war. Not everybody's fearless out here. You know what I'm saying? I'll be more specific when I say this. I'm getting a lot of wisdom from the elders and they're telling me that this generation that I'm in and I'm talking about born from 1981 to 1996, that if we don't get our stuff together and start making a conscious effort to change the ways of living out here, we will be doomed. If we keep living the same lifestyle that we looked at when we were kids and saw like, oh, this, this is popping. Oh, this is not, nah, this is, this is one of the people I need to follow. Like think about social media in general. Like you guys are just we're just following. I say you guys. No, we are. We are just following people. We're just following people. That is a level of influence that's, that can be dangerous if it's not poured in the right places. And I woke up with this on my spirit because I had to let it off. You know, this was this was what was called to me this morning. I don't know what exactly, but this is what has been called for me to share with you guys. The elder generation is saying it's time to wake up wake up wake up i'm not going to tell y'all what to do i'm not going to tell y'all how to live what to think but our millennial generation this is specifically being accountable for us we can't we we can't try to force our thoughts and our ways on anybody else but we have to know that the right way is already in us feel me that's why you have to be rooted and grounded and who you are. I'll tell you this. This is my last thing before I hop off live. I woke up, or excuse me, I wake up every single day knowing that my skin color is something that is hated on. My culture is something that has been pushed underneath the rug. They're now changing history to be forgotten about. And that's why I'm saying this generation, this millennial generation, specifically us, if we allow them to cover up all the history and all the things that have happened to our human race and what has been done, we will be doomed. That's all I'm saying. So all the young kids that may not understand it yet, that's fine. You're going to come into this. But to my generation, be better. Be better. Do not get distracted out here. Do not get, you know, do not get to a place where you're stagnant. We have a lot of entrepreneurs. We, we, we have crypto. We have NFTs. We, we've redefined art. We have the metaverse coming. We have all these great things coming. You know what I mean? But still, when chaos happens and trauma happens, we revert back to our old ways. They're trying to do everything possible in order to keep us in a low vibrational state. A low vibrational state. If you don't know what low vibrational state of being is, please go look it up. But I'm specifically talking to my generation right now that if we do not teach our kids the truth of this world and what has happened and what has taken place, it will it will be lost in history. We will be lost. We will be the generation that's lost in history. Black, white, red, yellow, no matter what color you are, there has been some type of part of your history or our human history that has been erased for purposes that go way beyond our understanding. And I won't tell. I won't tell you that I know everything. I know nothing, right? I know nothing. I'm just a I'm just a a, a star in the universe. 
But what I do know is when I'm called to share things and I pop out like this is for intention that goes way beyond, you know, what I can understand physically at times. I understand, you know, spiritually, but don't understand it physically and why I'm put in certain places, but standing tall. But look, I'm in my point here. To my generation and to the older generation, we must bridge the gap and it's happening now, but we must do it faster. We must do it faster. It's not happening. It's not happening. And the reason why I say it's not happening quick enough is because we had generations come before us and we're still doing the same ish. The same traumatic events are happening in our world. You know what I mean? We had a whole entire shooting in Buffalo and there's no more news coverage anymore on the families. There's no, there's nothing. We had, we had people of color die in Buffalo and things took place that still limited the exposure and the coverage because it was based off of pure hatred and it was an act of terrorism and we won't call it that. I'm just telling y'all the truth right here because when I say that my generation and the older generation has to bridge the gap because our kids are watching everything that we do. They're watching everything that we do. You know what I'm saying? They're, the kids are watching everything that we do, but we want to put them in the metaverse. We want to put them in front of the TV. We want to put them on Instagram. We want to put them on social media so quick. We want to give them the same diseases that we have right now. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my kids through this system that's designed to distract and demean and destroy character based on race, culture, class. I'm a native and I'm a black man or African man. I had to identify that because that's what was given to me in this Euro centralized society. I had to identify as a race. I had to identify as a culture. I have to identify what my religion is. But the reason why I'm speaking like this is because to my generation and to the older generation, we can't have this. That's enough talking. We can't have this. Uh -uh. This joint can't fly anymore. It can't happen anymore. And I'm I'm called crazy trying to grow up in this Eurocentric society or this society that holds white supremacy over the top of everything, which was created by them. I never created it. How how can how can I be sane in a society that calls me crazy for tr trying to live a moral just life, a principle led life? I didn't grow up seeing color. I didn't grow up seeing, you know, religion and culture, bro. It was taught to me. It was taught to me. I grew up in school with this stuff. I had experiences. So my generation, like we dealt, we still deal with it a lot, but our older generation dealt with it far more superior than we did just because it was way out in the open. Now it's way more guarded and silent and subtle. All these isms and all these definitions that we put out here. And let me direct it back to my point. I'm, I, can, I can wake up every single day knowing that the system is right in front of me and I'm making money for the system. The system is, is what I need to survive, right? But the system also created an image of the way you're supposed to be out here. And that's just not reality. That's not reality. The image, the image that's created of who we should be. Like, look on, look on all these social media websites. Is not every, is everybody not trying to be the same? Is everybody not trying to be the same on all these social platforms? Is everybody not trying to be famous? Is everybody not trying to be liked? Is everybody not trying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. But, but y'all, but, but y'all want to crucify the people that want to make change. But as soon as some shit pop off, everybody runs back. I don't get it. Everybody runs back to their Twitter, to their Instagram, to their TikTok. Everybody runs back to social. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like all, all, everybody just runs back. Nothing gets done. Nothing gets changed. And I'm not saying that I'm going to be the only one that's changing this thing. But damn, like millennials, we got to be better. We got to be better. Millennials, our generation, this is for us. And y'all know who I'm talking to. Our generation, 1981 to 1996. 
that generation and our older generation, I don't want to say older, like age, stuff like that. I'm just saying our more wise generation, our elders ahead of us, they got it. They got us. They're going to protect us. They're going to protect us. But first, we have to reclaim a few things. We have to eat well. That doesn't mean just going vegan. We have to eat well. You have to eat well. You have to treat your body right. You have to treat your mind right. You have to know what you're putting in here. You have to let go of things. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'll give you an example. I had to let go of seeing my ancestors buried in places that have been covered up by lakes. I had to go see. I had to go see museums with nooses around my ancestors' necks. I had to go see lawmakers that are still living today that put a lot of my family members in bondage or in prison or oppress them in some type of way. I had to go see that and I had to let go of that energy, that hateful energy that I had in order to move on in this world to talk openly. Because if I didn't let it go, I would have been walking around as what? The angry black man. <laughs> the angry black man. I had to I had to that's always the MO. If you're the angry black man, you can't get anything done. So I had to change up my approach and my perspective. Doesn't mean that I'm not ready for war out here, but it just means that I know who my enemy is and why they're doing what they're doing. And the reason why I express these things to you is because the millennials, we have the answers. We have the answers. It starts with our diet. It starts with our spiritual systems. It, sp it starts with breaking free out of this matrix, out of this system where you're not controlled by it you're not run by it and everybody calls it the matrix the system whatever you want to describe it as right but we wake up every single day and you're not in control are you all right then <laughs> you know so let me let me round in everything i said i i wanted to i was going to do a post i was going to do you know something the norm like it's going to do something like that but if we don't wake up millennial generation and if we don't partner with our elders and if we don't teach our kids the right ways of living Meaning that when they're four and five and six and seven years old and when they turn eight and they go to school and all of a sudden racism becomes a thing and all of a sudden like capitalism becomes a thing based on comparison, like who, who has the most money in the household, all that good stuff that we like to argue about. But I'm saying millennials, if we don't partner with the elders and if we don't take care of Gen Z and the generation that come after, we're doomed, bro. We have the power. We are the majority. Y'all keep forgetting that. Y'all thought it was hard for me to stand on what I believe in, but it's not. It just means that you have to be ready to deal with the consequences, whatever comes that way. And again, I'm going to tell y'all and I'm going to repeat this. I don't know all the answers. I don't have all of them. I won't pretend like I do because there's so much information out there, but I will share this with you. When it's on my spirit and on my heart and I've meditated on it, I've prayed on it, I'm going to share it in a way that is positively reinforced. I have no hatred for people in my heart. I am a soul bound by this universe to do amazing things. Even if it's small in someone else's perception, it's big in mine, it's my life, it's my journey, right? I never was born to see color, culture, class, all these things, right? I grew up in it. But now that I identify with my family lineage and I know where I come from, there's not anything that could really make me go into hiding anymore because I've seen it all. There's new things happening under the sun all the time but they've convinced you that there's nothing new happening you feel me we're stronger together we are way stronger together way stronger together and the first thing that i want to see out here is all of us being able to have a conversation right and i don't say all of us like it can't happen all at once but all of us to have a conversation within our households where we address a lot of the stuff that happened in the past without getting too angry about it and leaving the table unheard and hurt. Because I, I'll tell you this, and again, I keep saying this is my last thing, but look, my ancestors' pain and, and pain and anxiety and fear is still in my DNA. It's still, it's still, in, the, it's still in the DNA. All the things that my family went through in the past and that I've seen, it went away. And the reason why I shouted out the millennial generation because y'all feel this. Y'all feel this and y'all know. My generation knows. We grew up 
a certain type of way and we're trying to change things but every time we get back pushback we sometimes we give up it's like nah f that f that f that y'all nah it's find your tribe season find your tribe and not everybody is going to get along i don't expect that but what i am expecting is that the millennial generation when we connect with our elders show some respect for the wisdom that they have but do not judge their ignorance do not judge them do not criticize what they do not know share the information give them the right portals and to my younger generation that's watching this Instagram comments, TikTok comments, living your life on social media and technology is not the end all be all. And that's not real life. It's a part of life, but it's not real life. So as we're fighting this fight, and I say we're meaning there are races of people, specifically African people, native people around the world that are fighting for their lives based on skin color. And because of that, there is always this veil that's over top of people's consciousness because they would like to keep you, meaning they, the system would like to keep you distracted physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So all of that being said, my millennial generation, be better. Inclu inc including holding me accountable, be better. We're not letting this world get away from teaching our kids something that don't belong in them. No, no, we're not, no, 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 no. We're not letting this system teach our kids what they tried to teach us and tell us that this is this is the way that the world goes. No, it does not. No, it does not. That's not the way we want it to go. So from 1981 to 1996, my generation, I am one of the responsible individuals that's calling on us to be better. We're having kids, bro. Come on. We're having kids out here. And they want they want me to be on here talking about the same things that I do here all the time. But look, I'm I'm too politically seasoned. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I'm too politically seasoned out here because that's the way I grew up. I grew up in this political system, understanding that power plays all the time. But the real power is when you follow the green. And the green is something that gets defined by all these people that are playing out there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The green, the money. But while we're building our own, we have to just be aware that this is part of our conditioning and brainwashing that happened to us. So until we break free out of that, we're still going to see this world as what it designed to be. But in order to design something better and new in you, got to start with diet, got to start with education. We have to start with ourselves, our spiritual systems. We have to we have to let go of the old mold of being human in this world. Yo, look at the look at the seven the sixteen hundreds, the seventeen hundreds, the eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds, the two thousands, and they're over here telling us that, oh no, you know, like it's getting better. No, it's not. No, it's not. Y'all saying it's getting better. No, it's not. We have kids picking up weapons and performing acts of violence. We have kids that are angry and depressed and don't know how to let their feelings be known. We have kids that are dealing with real, true, raw emotions and they're going and they're running to social media to vent. The kids are running to social platforms to vent. If we don't teach them about the mind, body and spirit in these spiritual systems, how do you expect them to learn it? How do you expect them to question authority when they know that the authority is not giving them what's best for them that's all i'm saying i'm not gonna get too you know i'm not gonna get too preachy preachy with y'all on this because y'all probably hear this you know from different spots different places different people but in my generation the specifically the millennials diet health well-being forming our own spiritual system we have the energy to shift this whole entire thing so until we do that we're just gonna keep fighting but i love y'all i love each one of y'all and i pray for you guys as my relatives all the time i pray to create in our ancestors all the time whether they call me crazy out here in this society i don't give a fuck i don't care that like being called crazy in america is like it could make you billions of dollars <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like being called crazy in this insane society at times, like it doesn't really phase anybody anymore. You know what I mean? Because 
now at this point, it's either we're doing something to further along our causes and make this revolution work or we're not. And it doesn't look the same for everybody. Everybody has their own individual journey in this collective consciousness that we have out here. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody. So no, I don't identify as just one thing. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I, I identify as the truth of creator because I'm breathing and I'm able to do the things that I do every day, knowing that I don't have control of it all the time. So let's teach our kids about what we learned and how we grew up. Millennial generation. Come on. That's all I'm saying. Sound mind, sound spirit, sound body. To all my youngins out there, please, 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 please pay attention to what some of your older family members or relatives are saying. Your older brothers and sisters, please pay attention to them. Like, that's all. That's all, y'all. That's all. Bigger, it's bigger than entertainment. It's bigger than politics. It's bigger than it's bigger than all the things that we we hold value. It's bigger than social media. It's bigger. It's spiritually more purposeful to live a life that's aligned with standing on things that you believe in, that you know are truthful, and you have people around you that you can trust. It's bigger, y'all. It's bigger. It's bigger. Because y'all going to get to know Hela. Yep. Y'all going to get to know Hela. They've, they've hijacked my Kyrie name. Mm-hmm. So I love y'all, and I and I, I hope that you guys are, are having a, a great start to your day. Wherever you are in the world, all my brothers and sisters, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your healing. I'm praying for your alignment. All right? That's fine. That's fine. I grew up in this society where the crazy are sane and the sane are crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Growing up in a society where the crazy are sane and the sane are crazy. Whatever that means. All right. So I'm praying to creator for all y'all, man. All right. Love.